Alright people, welcome back. Another live video. So, last week we did uh, quick play spells, but non-archetypal. Because this time we're going to do archetypal. There's just so many quick play spells. Like I said before, quick play spells are just so good. They have this the availability to be used on your turn like a spell, but then can be set and turned into a spell speed to trap. It's just so good. Like, And then if something affects your attack or defense, just like during the damage step. So... We're just going to go ahead and do archetypal spells this time. So, of course, Renny has five. I got five. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What are we doing? We're doing the video. Why is the camera on? Do you really want to die? Yeah. I record you in your sleep. Oh, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what are we doing? Spells? Yeah. Oh, archetypal yeah. quick play spells. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So, I've been going first. So, you go first this time. Ah! All right. Number five. El Fivo. Yes, L five O, L five O. Mercy teleport. Ding 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 ding. How do you know I'm gonna put it there? You guys gonna put it there? You always put it there. <laughs> no, no mercy teleport. I don't think I gotta explain y'all what mercy teleport do, but I guess I do. You know, you can spell on one level three or lower psychic type monster from your hand or deck, and it's destroyed during the end phase. So is it the reason why you put it as number five? Is because yeah. it's borderline, yeah, almost it not archetype. Yeah, it's, it's it's borderline. It's almost and it almost thing, but psychics abuse it. Don't Cosmo abuse it too. Mm -hmm. Even I don't know why they're psychic. You know, you must have been awesome shit. But yeah, that's a good card, right? It's a good card. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's used in what ritual bees, mm -hmm. Cosmos. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of psychic archetypes. They need to get on that. But even every soccer axe type can use this car. Yeah, that's nice. So, it's yeah. good to go. Summon that farm girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so, my number five is Borderline Archetypal 2. I'm going to have to give it to Mass Change second. And... Boo. <laughs> Boo. Mom, get out <laughs> Use your own stuff. Why not yeah. use my monsters? Boo. Yeah, it's just a crazy card. Where it's just like, sure, it's kind of neg because, of course, you got to summon a monster and and uh, discard and turn it into one of the mass change hero common writers mm -hmm. but just giving archetypes that shouldn't have access to that those cards access to those cards just makes that card just totally powerful like oh yeah ba shadows go ahead summon that uh that dark law mm -hmm. that dank law oh yeah mermel necros go ahead and summon that acid and heavy storm your opponent's field it's like it's just like something that you have for heroes that all of a sudden any archetype can get access to as long as they're the same what type mm -hmm. in a higher level yeah like yeah that, that's totally fair so i'm gonna have to give it to mass change second it's kind of fell off as of late but when it first came out everybody and the mother's using it but they ain't anymore thank god stay off my shit stop dick riding bunch of bastards all right i'm sorry what were we talking about <laughs> um, number four? Oh, oh right uh number four mm, this one is kind of tough but i'll say circle of the fire kings yeah. Cause they flame on. Ooh. Don't pay attention to the lady in the background. She just going crazy. Yeah, Circle of Fire Kings. I don't know if you've ever played Fire Kings, but they love to jump out the way with this crap. That's all the fuck they do. You about to attack over some some morong or some shit like that? Like, oh no, Circle. Bam! I get my morong effect because I destroyed it, and I get to summon something from the graveyard, bitch. How you like me now, asshole? Yeah, it's bad enough to have an onslaught, but then you gotta give him a circle, circle too. on the real, you know, and that's all that's gonna happen. Take him wrong, bam, boom, psh, 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 oh, wrong effect, oh, give me this. Yeah, it was just like, onslaught, summon mm -hmm. Grunix, like bottomless, nope, mm -hmm. circle. I'm gonna destroy my Grunix, summon Grunix. Grunix, turn, 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 stop! <laughs> Literally playing with each other. Yep. They're <laughs> all up in there. Alright, but yeah, number four. Alright, my number four, I'm gonna have to give it to Void Seer. The fuck is that? The Infernoid Quick Play Spell card? I'm not hit. Alright. <laughs> Pretty much Infernoid type of Quick Play Spell card. Mm -hmm. Where if it's played from the hand, it makes your Infernoid monster unaffected by card effects till the end of the turn. Mm. But, of course, Infernoid is generally a pretty melee deck, mm -hmm. but it also has a greater effect, kind of like a breakthrough skill, right. where you can go ahead and banish it to protect one of your Infernoids from destruction. Ah. So it is like a double-edged sword. It's a really great card. Uh, you know, I've seen a couple of Inferno players play two, play three. I play two because mm -hmm. it gets kind of cloggy at right. three because it's not 
you know, advanced new game state. But, you know, Inferno Monsters are very powerful. You know, you summon that a new Chu, that's a 3,000 beater. True. Of course you want to go ahead and block it, you know. And generally, what's your opponent going to do? They're going to try to one-on-one -on -one you or Castell you. So you just be like, nope, what's here? Let me lock that. Or, you know, you mill a couple with Reasoning, mill a couple with, you know, Recharge the Light Brigades. Oh, there's a voice here in the graveyard. You know, you summon that new Chu and your opponent's like, oh, Regeki. You're like, nope, banish, block. So I definitely got to give the voice here. It's definitely a good card and worthy of being played in the Inferno deck. All right, so what's your number three? Oh, we're on three now? Yeah, we're on three. Oh, I thought it was two. I'm losing track now. <laughs> uh, number three. Three is Omongo. Mark Stone Force. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, there's not really an art type, but come on now. You only know, you know the only person using this shit. Monarchs. Please. Fuck please. You got your own shit. <laughs> See, what did I tell you guys about using my shit? <laughs> See? You other decks need to stop using other people's shit. Use your own crap, especially Cleese. like you ain't got enough. Go home. But you guys are getting so much more. You want to use some of your no, stuff. No, you can't use none of my shit. That's, I love Monarch Stormforce. I love Monarchs of that. Fuck these uh, pendulum assholes and they succeed cunts and synchro motherfuckers. Go classic I, with it. I thought you like synchros though. Oh, they're not supposed to know yeah, that. Yeah, they're not supposed to know that. Yeah, it's a secret. But yeah, <laughs> Mars Star Forest. There's nothing more lovely than being able to tribute summon your opponent's monster for no fucking cost. That's amazing. Yep, He's sitting there now in that big old shit. Oh, I can't get over it. I don't have to get over you. I'm just going to use you. What do you mean use me? Storm Force. You ace. Would you stop naming Dex? <laughs> 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 but yeah. Give him that big middle finger. That's all you gotta do with their powerful shit. It's like, what are you doing? Tributing it. Here. Straight back row while I'm at it. Yep, and you can attack with mm -hmm. it. You and you can't let someone from Dark Strike. Yeah, but he's a monarch who's summoning from the extra deck anyway. Which is why Klee shouldn't use it in the first goddamn place. Moving on. Well, I pendulum him some from my extra deck. I don't really summon from my extra deck. Would you move on with your damn cheating Klee's, you Klee bull habit, bitch? Salty? Mm, so salty, your tears. See, I'm, I'm gonna have to block the camera real quick while I beat you up, and then you'll come back bloody eyed and bruised up, glasses all obscured. Move on, I'll lose my patience. All right, my number three. Similar to Void Seer, another defensive quick play spell, but I'm gonna have to give this one higher than Void Seer, and the reason why is because it's searchable through their boss monster. I'm gonna have to give number three to Infestation Pandemic. Mm. Everybody knows this card, you know. It's bad enough that you gotta deal with Ophion, but then Ophion detaching C material, not even to go ahead and block you from summoning, you know, low five higher. That's a continuous effect. Mm -hmm. So even if you activate Shadow Imprisoning, that's still going off. Mm -hmm. No, the detach effect allows you to search for an evil sw oh is it evil swarm yeah, spell or trap. trap. Yeah. And of course nine times out of ten, what are they gonna grab? Pandemic. A pandemic. So even if you think that you're just gonna go ahead and throw the regeki at them or deep prison them in first, nah. Block all oh, my uh, evil swarms. On the roof. It's just like so fucking good and it's searchable too. You know, you definitely should play. I'd probably say two because sometimes three gets a little bit cloggy, especially since how inconsistent that deck is. But you know, you definitely should run it because Ophion's gonna search it and protect itself and put your helmet on. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Like who plays Ophion these days anyway? So what's your number two? El Shadon Fusion. Do you even like Shadows? Nope. But this card is broken, and so are Shadals. <laughs> I hate Shadals. They're stupid, their card arc is ugly, it looks like somebody took a big shit over all of their monsters and wiped it around them with that dirty, dark brown having what I don't know what the fuck color that is. And your monsters are ugly as shit. What the fuck is Winda? What the fuck is Construct for, for God's sakes? It looks like a, a deformed um, uh, hero monster. That's what the fuck it look like, you know? Get him. <laughs> yeah, El Shadal Fusion, good Shadals, you know what to do, if you don't know what to do, I don't know why you're even watching this video, because you shouldn't be playing this fucking game. Damn, at this point, at you this should definitely point. know yeah, El Shadal Fusion, you should definitely know it was yeah. going to be on this exactly. list. Exactly, El Shadal Fusion broke, Shadals are broke, Nurka Shadal, that and Necros, move on next. <laughs> Alright, so, my number two, I'm going to have to give it to Spellbook of Fate. And the reason why I'm going to have to give Spellbook of Fate is because it's probably the biggest bite that that deck has. But it's limited though. And it got, why did it get limited? Because, because they kept, you, I mean, it's a pretty broke card. A non-targeting, banishing card. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. Quick play spells, they need to play a certain, just banish three spell books and then got you, you know? And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it could go up to multiples, but 
the whole fact that they want to keep it one so you don't just play it every single turn, you know? And the fact that you just gotta, if you use it, you gotta put it back, shuffle it back no, in. They want to keep it at one because they ain't making no money off and it. Like, that's what it is. Book, There's right? no money to be made off Spellbook. That's why it's gonna stay at one. Good. You may be good to two, but then as soon as it starts coming back up in the meta, like, we're making no money off this. One. <laughs> Fuck you. I, like I said, it's just it's a really good card, and sometimes spell books play some back row, but sometimes I've even seen them flip up that royal decree. Mm -hmm. They're like, no, you ain't playing no traps. This is the spell oh, game, man. and the spell that I got is this fate, and you gonna get this fate. I'm gonna loop it and loop it and loop it with the, my filled spell, and mm -hmm. you're just gonna get faded all day. That's another broke card there, filled spell. How are you plus for plusing and then destroy it and then plus? Some bullshit. But I'll be into this for another day. All right. So what's your number one? Nigel Uno. Yeah. My Nigel Uno? You're Nigel Uno. Okay, then. Match change. Original. Better than that crap one he picked. Never before has one quick play spell card changed the entire deck's direction. Think about what heroes were before match change and think about what they are after. Two totally different things, right? Yeah. And this one card did it. Made us from just okay to up there and have people hating on us for Dark Claw when, yeah. when, when, when they got cheap shit. When they got cheap shit like Tower. Fuck Dark Claw! When they got Towers. <laughs> What's that new uh, uh, burning abyss bullshit that they're gonna get? What's that shit called? Uh, that level three fiend thing? Oh, the rhino? Yeah, rhino. They got that. They got all kinds of shit that's way more broker than dark claw. Oh no, no, no not dark even claw. close. Not even close. It's not even at the attack barrier. Not even close. It's not even at the attack barrier. Not even close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Freaking a built-in macro. That's enough. That's enough. You're already powerful enough. But now every time I search, you gonna pick something out of my goddamn hand? So like, salty. No. No. No, you just as fucking bad. Macro I'm gonna is at one. I'm gonna need some fries. So Dark Law is just as bad. It's literally macro on legs. Damn, you're so salty. Damn. Fuck I need Dark some fries. Law. Damn. But yeah, match change. Make heroes OP. Dark Law forever. Start out, you could stay bad. I love you, but you could stay bad. But Dark Law forever. Hate is hating. Stick back to your towers. You're too tired, so I'll run the Draco sack into it. All right. Number one. My number one. So sure, you, you, your mass change made heroes from Stratos' band irrelevant to arguably like a two, two, mm -hmm. tier two deck. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. But my number one card took a deck that was already okay and boosted it to a tier zero status, fighting the most powerful deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm gonna have to give it number one to broke ass spellbook of judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Holy no. mm -hmm. What the fuck were they thinking mm -hmm. with that card? Oh my god, will you go like plus like 10 at the yeah. end of the turn? It's Pretty like, much. what? Mm -hmm. Why? And I know there's a handful of people, um, Spellbook of Judgment can come back to one. You can eat a dick, yeah. sir. Yeah. Alright, they only need one. Just like how you loop the shit out of that fate, you're gonna loop the shit out of that yeah, judgment and go plus? Stupid. No. It went three, two, banned. And totally justified. It was literally fighting head to head with the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Rule for the what 2013 mm -hmm. Worlds and almost won it. Yeah. Almost won. The final was Dragon Rulers versus Spellbook. So if one fucking car can make that fucking deck so goddamn retarded, then it totally justified to be the number one quick play spell card. And sometimes it's not even a quick play. They don't even use it like a quick play spell card. No, they don't. But the fact that they can, that it's just when a spell card is activated. They get to go ahead and go stupid and search and go all that place. So straight up, they can set it. Then your turn, you're thinking about playing some spells. Nah, spell book of judgment. So go ahead, play all the spells that you want. Play that upstart into that upstart into that upstart into that pot and do all that. Because I'm about to go so plus during that phase. But I can just go ahead and activate my own spell cards mm -hmm. as well. So no, definitely spell book of judgment deserves to be number one. Thank God it's banned. It deserves to be banned. Stay banned. Hey, where are they at now? Nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That should tell you how much. How if you want to think how powerful a card is, just think what the deck would be without it. Try. Just try. Make the deck. Take that card out. See where you get. Nowhere. All right, people. So there you go. There's our top five slash top ten. Cause it's five for each of us. Yeah. Uh, archetypal quick play spell. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do, uh, go ahead and tell us. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Maybe like failed spells or something? We'll figure it out. All right. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. You know, I can see. You can't see anything. Can you see. don't see anything. Right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time we do another live video. Peaceful.